Welcome back to another video. If you found your way here today, chances are you cannot stand your slides. And we're going to show you how to change them out to soft closing slides. Very simple process with minimal tools. So just to get started, most stock cabinets come with these garbage slides. And all they are is they have a roller on it. And it's just metal on metal, like a roller. You can hear it's not smooth whatsoever. Then once you add some weight on there, it basically grinds into here over time and wears it out. So we're gonna actually replace these with the soft close slides. This will work on any type of cabinet. You know, whether you went to Lowe's like I did, Home Depot, wherever, Costco. And even if you had old cabinets, this will still work. So you have these easy, uh, the slides here, the easy close, they have a spring in the back. They'll just softly close. So just to show you, I did every one except this one. That's my final cabinet. So if you go to shut this real hard, it closes real easy. You can feel the ball bearings in this. There, It's a lot smoother movement and you're never gonna break a face off your cabinet itself. Like if you have kids, chances are they slammed your cabinets and you're like, all it's gonna take is one hard slam and that's gonna crack. This here, you can hear, you can hear the difference. Then if you slam it, like you chance breaking that off fairly easily. So just to get started, I'll drop a link below for Amazon. You can buy these in bulk packs, like a 10 pack, uh, however many you need. And just remember one on each side, they come in pairs. So just figure that out. They're about $10, $11 uh, per you know, pair. So just to let you know though, you know, it's an affiliate link below. So I do get compensated a little bit by sale and it's much appreciated as always. And just to show you what other item you need, it's a pan head screw. Drop a link below for these. You can buy these really cheap off Amazon. Again, that's actually how you secure your slide into the side of the cabinet. You're also going to need inch and a quarter drywall screws. I use the fine thread because they hold better. And then also a drill. Any drill is going to do with a Phillips bit. That's all you need. You don't have to pre-drill or anything like that. Obviously a tape measure. And then last but not least, you will need a combination square. You can buy these at Harbor Freight for around five or six dollars. And this, I'll show you why you'll need this a little bit later in the video. Last but not least, you're going to need actually two things. You're going to need some sort of shim. Uh, rough, this has to be about half inch. And I'll show you why in this video. Uh, actually, I'll just show you right now before we get too far. So what happens is when you have your slider in the bottom, if you put your new slides in, you have to have enough space that once the wheel is on top of the wheel to take out the drawer. So that usually equals one half inch. So if, once this goes down in, it's almost flush. But once you go to take it out, you need that extra half inch there. So it's just gonna shim up our new slide a little bit. You know, we're just gonna put it right here the slide will sit right on top of there. That'll give us our extra half inch that we need. You can take an old piece of trim or whatever you have laying around the house. It only needs to be about a foot and a half. These are 22 inch slides. And this is where you need the tape measure. You just measure your current slide from front to back to the face of the cabinet, which is right there behind the drawer. And that'll let you know how much of a distance for a slide you need. Now let's say your yours measure 25 inches and all they have is 24. That's going to be fine as long as you have it flush with the front here, the front of the cabinet, it's going to be fine. It just means the drawer won't pull out that extra inch. That's all. No major deal. All right. So to keep this as simple as possible for everybody, most of you probably do not have a table saw. If you do, I'll save you some money right now. So we need these to be 22 inches long, and these are three and a half inches high. So 
So if you go out to Lowe's right now, they actually have rough cut, well, it's kind of like a rough cut construction grade, uh, one by 12 by eight. You can actually rip these, rip it down with your table saw and you'll get three wide of these once you deduct your blade. So you can get three wide and then you're gonna get a total of, it's gonna be four, it'll be 88 inches. You'll get four of these long, so that's gonna be 12 total. 12 total of these, which will be six cabinets you can change out. That'll save you a ton of money compared to, if you don't have a table saw, just go to you know, your hardware, you know, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever you buy wood from, and get one by fours. The actual dimension is gonna be three quarter inch by three and a half inch. And that's actually exactly what we need for here. And I'll show you that process in a minute. And if you just buy those by eight foot long, you can actually ask them to cut them in 22 inch lengths at the store if you don't have a circular saw. If you do, just cut them at home, but just to give you an idea. So I'm gonna dismount the camera here. Actually, may just flip it around here. So what we're going to do, yeah, let me go ahead and take the camera off here and I'll show you. Okay, trying to do this by myself here, it's a little bit challenging. Since these are the garbage slots, like I said, the drawer is just gonna pull out. You lift up a little bit and the wheels will just pop over. These other wheels, like I showed you, just be careful. Okay, we take that out, we get the camera over here. So, looking down at this, actually, let me, let me take my camera off here, it's gonna be a lot easier. It's almost impossible to film yourself doing this. Okay, much better. So here's these existing slides, the ones that are total garbage. So ripped your boards down already, or you just bought them. 22 inches, that actually equals three quarter. If you're not familiar with wood, if it says one inch, it's actually less than that from the store. So it's actually gonna be exactly three quarter inch. And that is all we need to slide in between here. It's gonna be a little bit tight fit, but it will fit. So what you wanna do, is just take your finger, press right under here to get it flush. And then I'm just gonna drill in with those drywall screws the whole way down here. Might be able to do that holding the camera here. Let's get some drywall screws. The reason I chose the fine threaded, they tend to drive in a little bit easier. Again, just make sure we're flush on the bottom here. Doesn't have to be exact, but we're just gonna put in three. So you wanna make sure it actually goes in a little bit and it pulls tight right here. Now, if you do that first one, it's gonna hold the wood pretty tight. Once we pull up there, it's gonna stay in place. And we'll put the last two in. Probably should have put a noise warning on that one. I'm just using an impact driver here. And the final one, it doesn't matter where you put the screw. All right, so we will do the same thing on the other side over here. Okay, just wanted to show you a couple things here. Just got done screwing that in. We have our shim here. Again, it needs to be half inch. That'll give us the correct height. That just goes on top here, you're gonna hold it in place. And then what you do is you just put your slide right on top of there. I just want to show you two things first. The part with the spring always goes in the back. And then when you're looking at the front here, you can see that part right there needs to be flush. 
definitely tricky doing this by yourself to film anyhow. So that needs to be flush with the front of the face right there. So that'll actually, that's say your, the drawer front will actually close uh, completely shut. If you have it out too far, it's gonna stick out that far. So always make sure you're right there or even back just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to film this part with the tripod and then we will be right back. All right, hands down, this has to be the hardest thing I've ever tried to self film. So we're trying our best here. Again, we're taking our shims right there. We're gonna take our slide. Probably not come, yeah, you probably can see the front there. You're just trying to balance all this. So first thing you wanna do is make sure this part is flush right there. Press down on this a little bit to make sure we're 100% level. And we start to pull this back till we can see where we can have our holes right there to screw in. We're just gonna take one of those screws right there. Okay, so the first one's set. Usually once you put the first one, everything kind of holds in place. Make sure we're flush, that we didn't move, we're good. So the next one's right there. It doesn't really matter which hole you choose. So then we start to pull this out. Then we gotta like slide it back just a little bit. We wanna make sure we can actually screw into our piece of three quarter inch wood that we have behind there. Oops, grab the wrong screw. Remember to use the pan head screws in this one. Okay, just do it uh, snug and then you'll just uh, push the slide back. Make sure none of those hit the head of the screw. You'll feel it if it does. Then you just have to drive it in just a little bit more. So that's one done. I'm gonna do the other side and then come back and continue on. Okay, now that I have those in, we're gonna put our drawer back in. Now we didn't remove the bottom slides yet. And when you first put this in, it's still gonna feel like it's not the greatest. Once you remove them, you'll feel the difference. So what you wanna do, I have stuff everywhere in this house. I keep tripping over everything. So right now, we don't have the other, the new slide attached. So what we have to do, let me move the camera over here a little bit. All right, so when I go to pull this out, if you push on the back of the slide here a little bit, you'll see it starts to come out a little bit. And there's like multi-levels, like you can see this is the first section here, you have a second, and then finally the part that's attached to the side. Don't pull this out too far because your drawer could sag down. We just want to have enough. There's a hole right here. Let me kind of turn this around here. Just want to make sure you guys can see all this. So there's a hole right here. So we're just going to drill right into that with our pan head screw. So we're going to do the first side here. Doesn't matter which hole. Okay, so the first one's done. I'm gonna repeat the same thing over here. You'll probably be able to see it now. In the back here, just push right in the middle and push out and it'll start to like come out. You'll see when you gotta do it yourself. Make sure it's the whole way to the front uh, right there. Okay, so now we're actually fastened in, but we still have to add two more screws. I'll do this one real quick. Again, don't just pull, out, pull it out as much as you have to. 
That way the weight of the drawer doesn't make it sag. So right now, right there, there's gonna be three sets of screw holes, one, two, and then back a little farther. I should have probably cleaned up my kitchen first. Just doing a lot of construction and didn't really have time to clean it. Now once you get to this one, as you can see, we're not seeing any screw, screw holes right here. So what you do, if you push this just a little bit, it'll actually push that slide back. And then we have our area right here we can screw into. Do the same thing over here. There's gonna be a little bit of resistance when you go to do that also. So it's not gonna be like super easy to push back. I mean, I can do it with one finger, but just so you know, there is gonna be resistance there. Okay, so just so you can see right here, since that is pretty close, there's actually a, a notch here that comes out. This is your release for the slide. This is how you take this whole drawer out. So we're gonna do this now. This one here presses down, the other one presses up. Probably heard all the noise in the background, me tripping over stuff here. Maybe it's time I finally clean this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm pressing down on this side, right there. Press down there, pulling up on the other side. So I heard, you just heard that pop out. Now the thing is, since we still have that other slide in place underneath, this is not gonna come out because it technically has to tip downwards. So what you do is underneath, there's gonna be a screw right on this rail right there. So to take that one out, and if you pull a little bit on this, it'll pop into the next position, and then you can take out your other one. So right now, that wheel is still in place here. Like this piece that goes on. If you push downwards and then into the cabinet, you just take it right out. Easy enough. I'm gonna repeat the same thing over here. There's gonna be a screw right here. And then a screw in the back here. automatically once they like fall down. So when it does, you just push back up here. One thing to note too, this is so much easier to do without the countertop on. If you have a countertop on, you just have to like crawl underneath, like open your cabinets and do it from the bottom, that's all. I mean, you can still do it, it's just a little bit tougher to get to. So right now, everything's screwed in. Got my paper here, that's why I stopped it. Okay. You wanna push in the whole way, just so you know that slide. Like when you have the releases on that, once you open them, you gotta push them the whole way back just so it clicks back into place. There we go. So that's it. It was that easy. Five or 10 minutes. You're, once you do one, you'll fly through the rest like nothing. You'll get that confidence. I know you can do this yourself. That's why I wanted to make that video, show you all the different steps to do this. Uh, you're looking at maybe $15, $16 per cabinet to do. Hinges are 10 or 11 for a set. 
in the woods, like, I don't know, $5 a piece or something like that. Uh, prices of wood are way up there right now, so it's going to vary. But nice and easy. You have peace of mind now. You don't have to worry about somebody slamming it and breaking it. And it's going to add a nice touch also. That way when they come in and look at the house and, you know, praise your house or whatever, they're going to see nice slow close cabinets. And also in a future video, I am going to do the slow close hinges and also the hardware, just so you can see how to do that. And I'll drop some links below for some of the products I use on these. And again, it's affiliate link. Just want to make, you know, make sure you know that. And I get a small, very small percentage of the sale if you click that link and buy through that. It helps the channel out, helps me get different cameras, editing equipment, uh, things like that. And uh, it's definitely appreciated. So if you have any videos you want to see, just drop a comment below. Let me know what you need help with. And I know I had a few people ask about fishing. I might actually get out fishing in a few weeks here. I'm just about done with this house. Make some time for myself, get a little break in. Maybe finally get caught up on a lot of these videos I need to edit too. So again, uh, if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing as well and hitting that bell notification. You'll be sent uh, an email anytime I have a new video pop up and also it notifies you right on YouTube. And hopefully I can do something that will help you out in your projects at home. And I just want to give a shout out too to my shop teacher, Mr. F, Mr. Fikowski. Uh, 25 years ago, I graduated from Votech. I learned so much through shop class with him. Just like making, I used to make cabinets and do all the slow close hinges. And now I get to use that in real life. Uh, I quit my pharmacy job three years ago and I do rentals full time now. I flip a house and rent them out and I make really good money doing this. So thank you, Mr. Pikowski, for all the knowledge you shared with me through those years. It is definitely appreciated. Hopefully I get to tell you that in person sometime. Not sure if you still live around here or not, but it's definitely much appreciated. So again, thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions on this video here, just let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. You can do this on any style cabinet. Nice, easy upgrade. It only takes a few minutes, five, 10 minutes of your time. Thanks for watching. See you soon.